upstairs. She'll oh, misunderstand. Oh, the little wifey. Yeah, so you haven't forgotten that I'm married now. <laughs> Why do you think I slapped you before? Oh, I thought you were upset of my vote ousting Ned as CEO. No, no, no. That was the public reason. I didn't want anyone thinking you and I were in cahoots to take over ELQ. Well, neither would I. That's why I'm surprised you'd show up at my home at this hour. I wasn't ready to face Daddy alone yet. However, I am definitely ready to face you alone. Oh, I know. A little woman's hovering. You know, I'm annoyed at you over this impetuous marriage. You and I missed so many opportunities. I was hoping we'd get a chance to make them up. Oh, there'll be plenty of opportunities for you, I'm sure. With other people. You mean you're not going to give me a chance to... make you sorry you never took advantage of me? Timing's everything. When I met Brenda, there was no looking back. Last time I saw her, she was in high school. Has she graduated yet? I believe so. She was also a conniver. Well, that's high praise coming from an expert. No, she wasn't good at it. Why would you marry someone like her? She can't do anything for you. Exactly. Except make me happy. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Oddly enough, it seems to be. There's more than one person that can make Dad, you happy. what's taking you so long? Tracy Quartermain is here. What do you want? I know. You're probably here to offer some lame excuse for slapping my husband. No, that was not my intention. Apparently, uh, Miss Quartermay wasn't quite satisfied with the physical abuse. She decided to come over and finish the job verbally. And what do you expect after what you did to my son? Ned belongs at ELQ. Oh, please, Tracy, you had that absolutely... whole little thing you have going with the Outraged Mother Act isn't quite working. Do you want to know why? Because of the way you treat people, including your own son, and especially his wife, who, guess what, just happens to be my very best friend in the whole world, and my partner. You're so obnoxious, and you have a lot of nerve showing up here uninvited at my door. <laughs> well, are you the little tiger? And so brimming with... Spunk. Some people even like spunk. I do. I find it tiresome. Tracy, why don't you leave? It's late, and we're busy. Yes, and if you still have the uh, urge to tear me apart, I'm afraid you're going to have to wait for another day. Or how about another lifetime? Okay, bye-bye now. Let's go. Good night. I remember you as an amateur manipulator. Obviously, you've gotten better at it. If I had ever even tried to describe that woman to you, you wouldn't have believed me. I'm used to some fairly wild characters, as you know. Well, yeah, well, so am I. But no one is even on the same planet as Tracy. I mean, I don't even know if wild is the correct way to describe that woman. She is just mean-spirited. You know, she's arrogant, and she just happens to be the biggest snob that I've ever met in my whole entire life. You saw that tonight. Yes, yeah, she gave quite a performance. Yes, yeah, she did. You should have seen the beautiful performance she gave when she split up Ned and Jenny. I mean, I got to see that firsthand. And you know what? I think that she has even gotten worse. Do you think she even realizes just how out of line it was for her to show up at our door? Look, I agree Tracy's a handful, but don't you think you're overreacting a bit? I mean, she's just being protective of the son. I mean, you remember how Lady Jane was when I first brought you home? Oh, sweetheart, Tracy is nothing like your dear sweet mother. You're right. But when they think that the darling son's being attacked, that you know, brings out that the mother hen in some women. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't call Tracy a hen. I would call her a viper. Or actually, how about a piranha? I don't even understand why you're being so calm after the way she treated us tonight. I mean, yes, maybe she's trying to protect Ned, but you can bet that there's something in it for her. Don't we all look after our own interests? Tracy Quartermain has no loyalty to anybody but herself. I promise you I intend to keep an eye on her. Now I have a very urgent question for you. What? What, uh, 
What were we doing before uh, before Tracy showed up? I've completely blanked. I don't remember. Hey. Just to uh, set the mood while you're uh, <laughs> reminding me. Very glad the little woman didn't answer the phone. Listen, you and I need to discuss our latest fly in the ointment, Sonny Corinthos. Yes, I know. I'll tell you when, okay? Good night, Tracy. She uh, refuses to give up. She wants Ned back in, even if he doesn't want to. She obviously doesn't know her own son very well. No, she doesn't. And she could never admit if she was wrong. I have an idea. Why don't we forget about that woman for the rest of the night? Maybe for longer. <laughs> <laughs>